going on guys in this video we are going to see how to sketch level curves for a multivariable function first of all if you look at this multivariable function this is not in standard form right because we don't know what is this shape look like now in order to find the standard form what we can do is we can rearrange this equation and see whether we get something standard like ellipsoid or paraboloid or something like that now let's to do that what we can do is first of all we can eliminate the square root to eliminate this one, I'm going to square both sides. So this is going to be c square is equal to 1 minus x square over 4 minus y square. Now what we can do is we can bring all the x, y, z components to one side and keep the number in the other side. And if I bring this x square and y, x value and y value this side, there's going to be x square over 4 plus y square plus z square is going to be equal to 1. Now we have got some standard form. This is a standard form for an ellipsoid, right? Let's write that one down. Ellipsoid. And from this one, you can see that here we have x square over 4. So if you have a constant or any value below this one, it means this is elongated along this axis. And it's narrow, like it's small in this y and z axis. Now let to illustrate this one, let's draw uh, a sample diagram. Okay, let's say this is our. Okay, I have to. Okay, so we are going to follow right handed coordinate system. Right handed coordinate system, we are going to have z axis right here and uh, y axis right here and then x axis right here. x axis right here, right? And you have to be careful if you put x right here the y go inside right so that's the thing you have to remember and let's draw our 3d graph okay 3d graph for this ellipsoid we know that this is elongated in the x-axis so we are going to have something like this in the x-axis and then in the y and c axis it's going to be a little bit narrow so the final graph will look like something like this okay and this is like it's not better, better illustrated but it's a good it's good to have some idea how it's going to look like and here you can see that as we slice this one along the along this uh, xy plane because if we want to draw level curves we have to consider xy plane level curves is basically like flat like when you look this one from top how it's going to appear in the xy plane and here you can see that if you slice this one in xy plane in the origin you are going to have a big ellipse shape and uh, as you go down you are going to get smaller smaller ellipse shapes so here we are going to have small ellipse shape and small ellipse shape and also after this ab above also we will get small small ellipse shapes now in order to draw this level sketches, I mean level curves, we are going to put it in xy plane. Now let's go ahead and draw our xy plane. Okay, so here we have an y axis, x axis, and here we are going to have ellipses. Okay, let's draw some ellipses. So ellipses, it will, okay, the ellipses will go like this okay, I... okay so it's from the center right it should be okay now it should work so we are going to have some ellipses like this so this is going to be the level sketch for this this 3d diagram now if you want to find like if you want to express this one algebraically we can do one thing like whenever you have this standard form you have to make this one into constant so let's say that this is our equation so this is going to be x square plus 4 plus y square instead of z square we are going to put c constant square equal to 1 and if we start from 0 let's say c is 0 start from 0 we are going to have x square over 4 plus y square is equal to 1 right 
you can see this is an equation for an ellipse right and uh, if you move like if you put one for the constant you will get x square plus 4 plus y square and this is going to be 1 square 1 square is 1 and if you move to the other side that's going to be negative 1 1 minus 1 we are going to get 0 and uh, also like we can go like that and find some values to plug in like plug in for this ellipse surface right and that's how we draw that's how we sketch level curves for multivariable functions i hope you guys find this video helpful see you next time